got back on this thing and <laughs> it took me a little while, but I have finally figured out what's going on here. So as you all saw, I took it down to Katie Dragway and raced it um, Saturday night and I had no problems. Put it in the trailer, <laughs> I bring the thing home, I unload it and I go up the road and I start to notice a little miss or a spit sputter here and there, nothing serious. But I got to thinking, you know what, maybe it's time to go ahead and pull a little jet out of this carburetor because the ambient air temperature outside is getting warmer here lately and, you know, it might be a little rich. So I go ahead and pull some jet out of the carburetor. I take three jet numbers out of the front and two out of the back uh, because that's as close as I could come with the jet kits that I have here. I've got some jets missing. Uh, and I took it up the road and, and immediately I noticed that uh, on the gear changes, it would just knock the wind right out of it. Like it would go lean so bad that the engine would just lay over and almost die. So I brought it back. I thought, well, you know what? Um, the plugs have kind of shown rich, uh, but ever since I put this brand new quick fuel carburetor on it, the plugs have been showing kind of rich. And um, even though the tune up is the same as the last carburetor I had, the little brawler, whatever you know so anyway i go ahead and pull some jet out that didn't work i put jet back in it and it gets better but this thing breaks up to the point where it's almost undrivable anything over quarter throttle now here's the thing if you barely push on the throttle and hold it in a gear it'll rev clear to 6500 7000 rpm and never break up okay so that rules out a valve float issue or broken valve spring um, but it doesn't explain why anything past quarter throttle, it starts to spit and sputter, pop and crack and break up. And I mean, really bad, like you can't hardly drive it. So initially I thought, well, you know what? I wonder if it's starving for fuel. Maybe the fuel filter's plugged up. So I come back and I pull the fuel filter off of it and there's nothing in the fuel filter. So I come back, I pull plugs and they look terrible. They're black and they're brand new plugs. And if you look at these plugs, you would swear that whoever's monkeying with this carburetor has no idea what they're doing. It just doesn't look good when you look at these spark plugs. And I agree with you, <laughs> it doesn't look good. So I dived down this rabbit hole last night trying to figure out what in the Sam is going on. I came across something that I have never seen before in my life, not me personally, not to say somebody else hasn't already experienced this. I'm sure somebody else probably has, but I just couldn't hardly believe this. So I keep a lot of spare carburetor gaskets and these have been my favorites. They're kind of a hard, uh, gasket material. As you can see, I don't even throw them away after I've used them a million times. I still keep them around. Um, there's no name on these. I'm not sure who made these, but these have always been my favorites. They're kind of a hard, uh, gasket material. And I've also kept these, uh, I've had good luck with these. They're interface made in USA interface solutions, carburetor gaskets. This one says N80. 94 8094 is the part number made in USA interface solutions I've had no trouble with these gaskets I've used them quite a few times okay well here's the problem interface solutions makes carburetor gaskets and they have come out with a new gasket material okay and it's very soft it's pliable uh, at first glance, you would think this is a very good carburetor gasket. I have no reason to doubt that it would work just fine. Well, it doesn't. Here's what happened. You look at these spark plugs. That looks terrible. If you showed me this spark plug, I would look at that and say, whoever is tuning your carburetor, should not be tuning your carburetor. However, in this case, that person is me. 
all eight of these spark plugs look the same. And you'd almost think, you know, there's something going on with the fuel because of how sooty these plugs are. And you'd almost swear that maybe this is some cheap pump gas, but that's not the case. This is racing gas, 110 octane leaded racing gas. And all eight of my spark plugs look like this after two passes, two, one, two passes and a little bit of street time. And, the, and don't get me wrong, this carburetor and this car run and drive really, really nice for what it is, right? So I have this thing tore apart a handful of times last night. And I have no reason to believe that there should be a problem, but there's definitely a problem. So I take the carburetor off and this is a brand new gasket. Okay. This is what my gasket looked like after I removed the carburetor. This may be difficult to see, but these are your uh, vacuum port passages in the base plate of the carburetor. And you can literally see where this gasket has been like a sponge and soaked up fuel and became so soft that it has begun to disintegrate. Okay. And this gasket material that has been disintegrating is actually what's all over these plugs. That's not fuel. Some of it is. But the vast majority of the coloration on these spark plugs came from this gasket. This is the first time I've ever seen anything like this. Now, I took a car that run completely fine. I did switch carburetors, right? So I, I took a brawler off and I put a quick fuel on and for all practical purposes, they're the exact same carburetor. I put the exact same tune up in the quick fuel that I had in the brawler, put it on the car, drove it around. It's fine. It runs good. There's no problem. I took it to midnight madness. I made two passes total, had no problem with it. Right. I put it in the trailer. I bring it home and I have this terrible part throttle cruise and Anything over quarter throttle, it just pops and cracks. I pull the plugs. It looks rich. I take fuel away. It won't run. I mean, I'm telling you what, I pulled my hair out last night. And it turns out these crazy carburetor gaskets are disintegrating, soaking up fuel, disintegrating, and putting all this crud all over my spark plugs, which makes the engine miss and spit and sputter and cut out under load anything over quarter throttle this thing won't run uncle terry stopped here for a little while today on his way home from jigs to drop some things off here for billy and rob and i got to show this to terry because he sells a lot of parts at jigs and he's never seen anything like this before it feels gritty yeah it feels like that gasket material uh, exactly what it is that's that could be your whole issue right there. i've never seen anything like that in my life terry nope me neither. Look at that. That's all in the electric up there. It's that's, full. I mean, that's what it is. That's the problem. Yeah, that's what it is. It's just gray, gritty stuff. That they would have got a gasket when it come when it swelled all up. It just started to deteriorate, started to deteriorate. and it, it sucks it down the intake runners. And when it burns runner. it, it just turns it into this yeah. molten crap. And it's yeah, all over the plugs. Is. See, it's all in there. 